Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Sublime Text Editor to compile and execute C programs. First you'll need to download and install Sublime Text Editor. You'll find a link in the description and you'll also have to download MinGW. I'll also add a link in the description below. After your download has finished, just open the file to start the installation process. All you'll have to do is remember the installation directory because you'll need that later on. When your installation has finished, click continue and the MinGW installation manager will open. Now what you have to do is left click on the white box where it says MinGW32 base. Ma click on mark for installation. Now you have to click on installation and apply changes. A new window, window will open and you'll have to click apply. Then there should be a green box. Now we'll have to change the value of a system variable. To do that, just right-click on the computer shortcut on your desktop and click on Properties. Or you can right-click on the Windows logo in the taskbar and click on System. Or just go to your control panel and then click on Go to System. Here we have to go to Advanced System Settings. A new window will open up, we'll have to click on Environmental Variables. And down here we'll have to find the variable Path. We'll click on edit and at the end of it we have to add the installation path from earlier. Okay now all we have to do is open up Sublime and create a new build in Sublime. To do that just click on tools, go to build system and new build system. Delete everything that's already been in here and just copy and paste the code from the video description box. Now you can click on File and Save As and just save it as a new build and you can choose whatever name you want. Now it's time to test our new build and if everything works. To do that I just wrote a Hello World program and to I'll just execute it and we can see it works fine. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or if well, something doesn't work, just leave a comment below. All right, that's it. See you next time.